My name is Mark Epstein. I am director of the California Environmental and Technology Education Network. Today what we want to do with this video is to present what we have done with our mini course on web mapping and map applications with middle school students at Rudder Middle School in Sacramento, California. This has been our first field test on this program conducted during the 2014-2015 school year. Hi, I did this project with Mark because I wanted to bring some technology skills into my classroom that I personally did not have so that my students could expand their skill base to help them with their inventor software. And it appears to have worked really well with my students. It gave them a chance to do some flipped learning, which was new for them. And it also gave them a chance to work with someone who wasn't part of the staff that was an expert, expert coming in from out on the field. It worked well. My students um, worked, enjoyed working on the new software. They've made some awesome maps, and um, they have skills now that they can take on into the future. I also used it in my science, life science classroom, so that there could be some technology in there that, um, so that my students might be able to expand it when they move on to their other courses at the high school level. So I, um, I've been very pleased with the outcome of this um, mini course that we've done for Project Lead the Way and in my life science class. Um, in ArcGIS Online, we learn about maps, and we learn about, like, the first time I went on it, um, I had to, like, go through galleries of people who did other maps, and I looked for, like, um, where cancer areas were most populated and stuff, and I learned that, um, like, cancer, like, cancer areas are mostly likely to you're mostly likely to get it from and I looked through different kinds of maps and stuff and yeah it's pretty cool. Overall in ArcGIS I learned many things such as making map notes, putting in data, s researching on specific topics in the ArcGIS library such as crime rates, teen pregnancy, health risks, and etc. Oh we um we, at first, we learned about symbols and how to change their size and and their colors and uh, lots of different things with that. And we also learned how to put like layers of information on different places and things. And we learned how to put a longitude and latitude into onto a spreadsheet on Excel, Microsoft Excel, and so so that we could put points on a map. And we learned also how to make a web application. I learned to change the symbols on ArcGIS to mark the points, and I learned to import the pictures to the long to the places that I searched up, and learned to put the latitude and longitude to the areas. I learned how to plot a point on a map, how to create map notes, and how to import a data, data table to a map. ArcGIS can be used in other subjects like U.S. history. For example, the westward expansion. ArcGIS can help you get data of the railroad lines in the cities out west when they were built. And when the railroad expanded, more buildings were I could use these techniques in science when we're learning about um, earthquakes and how many earthquakes happen around plates and I could use it in history when the conquistadors come to the lands and where they went. I think I could use these skills in science and history by, um, in history, mapping out historical points in any war possibly. And in science, I can use it to map out um, habitats for a certain animal at a certain place. Um, you can use these skills in like English and history. And in English, you can do stuff if you're writing about something nonfiction, and maybe fiction if you have like nonfiction places in there or something. 
then you can um, use these skills to um, do things like for information and pictures and like to go with a product or a report you're writing. You can use um, layers uh, on a map by taking cases like Ebola and putting them on a map and showing them to see how many Ebola cases were in different states. On my freestyle map, I, I did the high schools and their API scores along with their medium income to see if there's a relationship between those two, if it's higher because of the medium income, and if, if it's because they could buy tours and stuff. And in it, I got to search up all the income from different areas. And there is a relationship on some, but not most of them. So what I did is I made a map of EGOSD. I mapped out all of the schools from grade school to high school. What I did is put a picture of it, and I put a little bit of information. And when I used the new map tour template, it got sometimes very, very confusing because it was buggy. It wouldn't accept the heading I put for the table sometimes. Um, I did a freestyle map on um, the seven greatest wonders of the world and the thing that I had to do was make an Excel worksheet and put the lo longitude and latitude on it with with the thumb URL on the URL which is the pictures and the website that I had to do and I also had to put an icon color which I just put the letter R on every single um, wonder of the world and then I had to import the Excel worksheet to the ArcGIS and then I had to see if the table was right and it took a few tries to put on the world map tour but I finally got it right and then I just finished the project. For the freestyle map I made a map about murals in Sacramento. In start I found 10 murals in Sacramento and I searched for its location and the person who made it and then I used its latitude and longitude and put it into an Excel document and I used a picture and a description as well. And then I made it into a web application as, at first and then I transferred it into a web map tour. For my freestyle map, I did the Revol Revolutionary War battles and I, I, used, I, I got the points for each battle using the longitude and latitude for each, like where the battle happened. And I also um, added pictures and more information using uh, points, symbols, but I turned them like to where you couldn't see them so that when you press on the point, it would be there already. Okay, so for a freestyle map, the topic I did was Oak Grove Unified School District Immunization Waiver. So what I did was went to the school websites and took the total enrollment and I got, took the data from how much people didn't get the um, get the shots, and then I put it, put it all on a map. And for the percentage of the people who didn't get the shots, I changed the color, and then I turned that map into a web map application. For my freestyle map, I went to Casunas River Preserve, and I took trail points and markers. The trail points I put on a map and connected the dots and I did the same things for the markers. And then I took pictures to for um, every marker that I went to. For my freestyle map I I did uh, to 10 Roman Empire battles and uh, what I did was um, I, put, I made uh, 10 points of where um, 10 battles happened and I put put brief descriptions about it like um when it ha how, when it happened um who fought in it who won and uh, photo 